Wow, Tyrese is here. That's really cool. That's awesome. How about it. Hey, What's Tyrese. Up, nice to meet you, man. How you doing? Tyrese, how are you, buddy? Man, that is cool. Is that your favorite song, wait, that cool. Sixers song? Wait till he has the headset on, Johnny. That Sixers song? Oh, I got to wait to get that on. Is it? Yeah, it's, it, it's, don't worry. They weren't made for real people's heads. <laughs> <laughs> My head's too big for this. <laughs> hey, uh, is that your favorite song? Uh, the Sixers song? Of course. Because I hear you sing in press conferences and stuff. It's pretty comical. <laughs> <laughs> not hey, that you can't of, sing. Hey, don't make fun of me, please. No, not that you can't sing. It's just, it's nice to see. I don't think God blessed me, uh, put me on this earth to sing. <laughs> well, he gave you a lot of other gifts, Tyrese. Yes, it, I appreciate him for that. Yeah, 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 well, my son informed me today that Durant is staying with the Nets, so that hopefully means that the Sixers are going to lock you up for a long time because you can play your ass off, young man. <laughs> I appreciate that. I appreciate it. I love being here. I love being here. It's great. That shows. I mean, there's no question about that uh, you love being on the court and love being here in Philadelphia. Talk, talk a little bit about the, the fan base here. Yeah, I mean, the fan base in Philadelphia is amazing. It's amazing. It's second to none. Uh, just the, the hard-working people that, you know, they always are at the Wells Fargo. They work extremely hard to, yeah. to get there. And uh, it just makes me feel comfortable, and it feels like it's home. You know, Tyrese, you, you fit in to this city, and, and that's an important thing when you come here, is you have to fit in with the city. The people have to accept you, and you but you have to accept the people, too. You and Bryce Harper, to me, are the two guys right now uh, in Philly sports that uh, really epitomize what it's what it's about being a, a part of the Philadelphia culture. Oh, yeah. Uh, Bryce Harper is amazing. He's amazing. Um, I heard he, he just started rehab, and he had a, a home run. First, first at Tyrese, yeah, sure you, you should have wow. seen it. It was, it was a shot. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's amazing. He don't that's need amazing. that mess. He can come up tomorrow. <laughs> He's ready, huh? Yeah. I mean, if, if you were hurt, would you have to – Play it like an exhibition game to get ready. I mean, sometimes Ooh. we do. We sometimes we play. You know, <laughs> some some scrimmages in practice. Tyrese, who some people play when they can. Some people play when they want to, my <laughs> friend. You and Bryce play when you want to. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I swear you were so much fun to watch this year. Uh, where the Sixers would have been without you, uh, with, without you, who knows? I mean, but you were unreal. No, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. We have a lot of work to do this upcoming season, man. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I can't wait to get started. Tyrese, who, who gave you um, – who, who planted the seed for you about playing in Philadelphia? Did somebody help you with that, like understanding how great a city this is, how energetic the city is? Honestly, you know, what really helped me with playing in the city was going to the University of Kentucky. Yeah. Uh, because the, those those two fan bases are pretty similar. They're very similar. And, um, That's a great point. I, I can just – I do nothing but appreciate uh, both of those cities and both of those. I, I, I was telling somebody the other day, uh, besides Garland, of course, being – Garland, Texas being my actual hometown, Philadelphia and Lexington, those are my other homes. And mm -hmm. uh, I, I feel like I grew up a lot – growing up a lot being at those two places and – I just really enjoy being here. I remember, Both places, they expect you to win, yep. but they hold you accountable, too, if, For sure. if you know, things don't go well. For sure. Ground ball to shortstop. Wow, that was a fast inning. Sosa, low oh. throw, and he is safe at first. I spoke too soon. Out right of way, Ben. Tyrese, we've had some lean years here from a 76ers standpoint, and to see the product they have on the court every night, it's, got, it's so refreshing, this city, something really to cheer for. Yeah, man, I mean, it's really fun to be out there with guys that really care about winning and care about getting better. Um, you know, James coming to the team, he kind of fit right in, and it was really amazing. Uh, and now we have guys like P.J. Tucker, Anthony Melton, uh, Daniel House, and it's going to be a lot of fun. I just can't wait to get started. Mm. All right, so so many uh, players that play uh, their sport as if it was a business. You seem to have a joy of playing the game of basketball. Where did that come from? How did that start? How does it make you feel just being on the court? Because I love your energy, just your general energy on the court every day. Oh, yeah. Um, I, one thing I'll really say is that, uh, you know, I'm blessed to be able to play the game that I love every single day. Uh, we were just talking about it. Uh, the good Lord, he really blessed me with talents, and he blessed me with a, a work ethic that uh, I don't want to go to waste. Mm -hmm. So I, I go out here every single day during the off season and during the normal season and work extremely hard to be the best I could possibly be. Uh, once you know, once the ball stopped bouncing, and you know, I had to move on to do something else, and I had to retire. I don't want to have any what ifs. I want to be able to say I put my all into this. Aquino is thrown out. What a pick by Gene Segura. You can come be a wow. baseball announcer with us. <laughs> yeah, you can. 
Well that was a beautiful play by Segura to end that inning. No runs for the Reds. Tyrese is going to stay with us for another half inning. Here's that throw. JT one of the best in the business Segura the same at second base. Great pick. Well it's a familiar sight Tyrese yeah, Maxey. Coast to coast. Nice. Being embraced by the city of Philadelphia. John Calipari said when you were drafted hey folks you're going to like this guy and Cal's not usually wrong about his guys. Oh yeah I appreciate Coach Cal you know being down there in Lexington uh, this past weekend. It uh, just gave me so many memories. Uh, Coach Cal is the best. I really do appreciate him, and you know, I just love him for everything that he did for myself and my family. Mm. Well, they didn't like. That's where Cal Parry was wrong. We, we don't like Philly. Sixers fans don't like. We love mm. <laughs> Tyrese Max. Yes. I love. I love y'all too. It's a mutual, mutual feeling. Is the old it, one to Schwarber. It seems like you're are really engaged in the other sports as well. I mean, you pay attention to all the other sports, Tyrese. Uh, for the most part, the only only game I haven't been to is a Flyers game. Um, are y'all Philly Union fans as well? I've I only am. Been, I've only been to the stadium one time. I haven't. I've really never cool been. Stadium. So I've never been. So I may try to go go catch one of those games as well. Yeah. So I've been. I've been to you know the fly. I mean the the Eagles and also the Phillies game of course. And of course, I go to the 76ers games oh, every really? so often. Every once in a while. <laughs> makes, good he makes seats. Every so often. You got good I, seats, or they? You know, the seats aren't bad. You know, Joel and sometimes I have to sit in between Joel and uh, James, and then, you know, those when the seats get bad. Thank you. Well, maybe not so much this year. James is in shape, huh? Yeah, that's true. Exactly. Exactly. Skinny James. Why does Embiid always mess with you? Why? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. He calls me and FaceTimes me and still messes with me during the summertime. We should FaceTime him right now. And oh, yeah. Don't oh, no tell him what Joe's doing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we might not want That's to a good know. Point. <laughs> Here's Reese Hoskins with one away. Bottom of the fourth inning, scoreless game. Phil's still looking for their first hit. First Tyrese. base runner. First base runner. Tyrese, you play your own game and then you obviously play with a ton of energy, but what is there any player that you tried to emulate or someone you idolized as you were growing up watching the game? Yeah, when I was growing up, my favorite player was uh, Dwayne Wade. Mm. My favorite player was Dwayne Wade. He, the way he played the game, he played the game fearlessly. Uh, he was always attacking the basket. He played extremely hard on both ends of the court, and uh, he was extremely fast. So luckily, I was blessed with speed to where I could try to imitate that. And um, you know, I, I like guys like uh, I try to take bits and pieces from a lot of different guys that's that's in the league right now. So Jonathan India, low you, throw. You know what's going to happen in about two or three more years? You keep going like you're going. They're going to have kids coming up saying, yeah, I, I emulate Tyrese Max. That's correct. I sure hope so. Yeah, it's sure. going to happen. You know you're, what else, Tyrese? That good. You mentioned speed. Let's see, Johnny. No. Ruben. No. Ben. No. Me. No. Now, Christine was fast when she played soccer. <laughs> I believe it. Yeah. I believe it. Yeah. Tyrese, what was the one part of the NBA that you thought you would not excel at? But you know what? I actually can do this at this level. Say that's that again. Question. I'm, so, I'm what, sorry. I didn't what is the one part of the NBA that you know you said maybe I, w I won't be able to do this as well at the NBA level, but but now you're like, you know what? I can do this at this level. Yeah, honestly, coming in, uh, I thought attacking the basket because of God's athleticism, and, you know, and the seven footers. I thought I would have to use a lot more floaters and a lot more mid range jump shots, but I realized that because of the touch and because of the quickness, I could get to all the way to the rim. And Coach Doc kind of told me that in my rookie year. Once I kind of figured that out. I think that was a blessing in disguise. I tell you what, that floater's lethal. Yours. Yeah, work on it. Got to work on it. It's a hard shot. And work on it as much as I can possibly can. You got to be athletic to be able to to do it consistently, though, just to kind of gauge the whole thing. I appreciate that. I try to be athletic as much as I can. You know, I think I'm. I feel like I'm getting old. I'm losing some of my balance. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As I get older, every single day I'm getting older and older. I'm losing balance. Sure. Amen to that. <laughs> I'm what are you, 23? 21. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> 21. All right, 21. that's funny. I believe that's the drawers I'm wearing are all right. <laughs> <laughs> Two balls and one strike to Alec Bowl. So you can drink now. Uh, yeah, but I try to stay away from alcohol. That's all right. I'll have yeah. them for you. Yeah, that ain't, that ain't. But I ain't got to play. I just watch. <laughs> Pitch to bowl. But I, I tell you, it, it is fascinating how quickly this young man has become a fan favorite. I would agree I with mean, that. It, yeah. was, it was rapid. I would and agree rightly with that. so. I mean, how all the people, when, when his name is popping up on trade stuff, people are just going nuts. There's no uh -huh. way they can train anybody <laughs> except Maxie. 
I love it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, man. It's, it's all love, man, for the city. I try to go out here and be the best I can possibly can every single night. Mm. So what do you what have you been uh, working on as to get ready for the season? You been working out with anybody specific? Yeah, I mean, I'm working on a lot of different things, of course, all the time. Uh, I think one one of the biggest things that I've been working on this offseason is self-creation. Uh, being able to play big minutes in the playoffs and seeing how different uh, defenses guard you in the playoffs. Um, I've really been trying to work on that. I've been watching a lot of film on uh, the Miami series and the Toronto series and just how, you know, the defense was starting to key in on me and key in on, uh, you know, key players and then trying to get to my spots to where I can create for myself and create for others. Yeah, you're not going to sneak up on anyone, are you? No. <laughs> not anymore. It's, it's done, right? Oh, yeah. I was going to say that. Do you like the fact that that you can't sneak up on anybody anymore? You like the that challenge? Well, yeah, I love the challenge. You know, it just get you know it helps me try to get better every single day. But you know, at the end of the day, we still have Joel and B on our team and oh. James Harden. So yeah. they they cause a lot of attention. So it's extremely hard for defenses to pay attention to everybody. And then you have guys like Tobias. So uh, you know, it's going to be great. I can't wait. To, like I said, I can't wait to get the training camp and get back to working. Uh, Giannis is called the Greek freak, but and B's pretty freaky too, isn't he? He very extremely. Oh. Gosh. Like he's, the way he handles the ball, you know, his side. Like I saw him this summer um, in, in L.A. and, you know, I hadn't seen him in a couple months. And then, you know, him walking up on him, like, man, I forgot how tall you were. Like, <laughs> like, Still ugly, though, ain't he? I said, oh, yeah. <laughs> Barry. John, that's not nice. Oh, we love him. <laughs> one ball, no strikes to JT. Swing and a miss. One ball and but one But there's strike. a reason why he has to wear the mask. I'm just saying. Exactly. <laughs> it's not for a broken face. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Wow, he's not even here to defend himself. Uh, He'll be okay. Thank God. <laughs> I, I'll get a call. I'll he get a call might, tomorrow. He might pitch your head off there, John. I, I'll get a call tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Nah. That, that's a great thing about sports is you could joke around with your teammates. And, oh, yeah. And uh, it's all in good fun. Oh, yeah. A great relationship. Uh, I think everybody on the team has that same type of mentality. Mm -hmm. uh, we can joke. We can laugh. We can have a good time. But we know when it's time to, when we get across those lines, it's time to get serious. Two balls and one strike to JT. Baum was the first base runner for the Phillies. We're hot now. You got somebody that you're, uh, you got your eye on this year that you think is going to step up and really help? On the team? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think there will be a lot of different guys that can step up. I think uh, Paul Reed got a lot of uh, different experience in the playoffs yeah. to where uh, he, could, he could probably come in. It's kind of the same situation as me my rookie year. I didn't play as much during the season, but then kind of towards the end of the year, I started playing a little bit more, and then the playoffs came, and I had a couple good games in the playoffs my rookie year, and then, you know, my second year I had more confidence. So hopefully that gives him more confidence. And, uh, you know, we're going to need guys like Isaiah Joe, to come in and shoot the ball well as well, so it's gonna be it's gonna be fun, man. I think we, you know we have a lot of different pieces and a lot of different weapons on this team, um, and it'll be very 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 helpful for us. I'll tell you what I like about Paul Reed: energy out the wazoo when he comes in. True. But athleticism, my goodness, he can he I, like he gets off the floor quicker Quick, than anyone yeah. I've ever seen. Yeah, he's he's a very athletic. He guards one through five. He's competitive. Uh, Y'all should see him when he tries to guard your world at practice sometimes. It gets very, very interesting. Can you tell I like basketball? I'm telling you, you know <laughs> everything. I think he likes basketball more than likes baseball. I, I, me and my daughters do still in high school. We watch every single Sixers game, whatever that's they're on. That's okay. We appreciate the love. It's awesome. Hey, what, uh, what was the feeling in the locker room after you guys got knocked out? I mean, you guys uh, itching to get back there and show people that you're a championship caliber club again? Yeah, itching, man, itching extremely because you know we didn't we didn't get to jail as much as we really wanted to. You know, if you really think about it, James only got to play. We played what 25, I think 26 games with James. Yeah. And uh, you know, it's hard to win a championship. It's hard to be uh, extremely successful and your chemistry to be right when you only play like tw less than half the season together. I mean, even though Harden's a veteran, like to go from Brooklyn to Philly and, you know, I, I know he had Durant and he had, oh, you got your glove out. That's a bad lead, Tom. I was just getting ready. But, you know, he had, he had Durant and, uh, and Kyrie. But how difficult is that to come to a team with a guy like Embiid that has to have the ball a lot, which, and deservedly so? <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a lot different. It's a lot different, and uh, that's why I say, you know, this this training camp is going to be extremely big for us because we'll have time to actually sit down and show, like everybody would get in their spots and everybody would know where they want the ball. And James and the big fellow will be able to play together a little bit better. And uh, you know, myself and Tobias and the coaches will do a good job of helping us gel. 
So I, I really can't wait to see what you know what the future holds and uh, try to go out there and win as many games as possible and uh, you know champions. do the ultimate goal. Be a champion. Absolutely, Tyrese. Man, we appreciate wait. you. Thanks we appreciate thanks you for coming out. Really appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Having me. Tyrese Maxey, yeah. our guest here at Thank Citizens Thank Bank. Awesome, man. You never know thanks who's going to show up in left field. That's see right. October 18th at Boston, game number one in the championship run for the Philadelphia 76ers.